Just have his life. Lesson of the day. Oh my gosh. Just got back from, I think about a five mile run. Uh, and I want to talk to you guys about mental capacity or setting mental expectations. You see, when I just went on to this run, I expected that I was going to run three miles which means that I was setting my pace to run three miles. Well, I started getting really into what I was listening to on my phone. I like to watch rap battles sometimes. So I was listening to a rap battle and I was getting really into it. I was like, oh, 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 that's a good line. Oh, that's a good line. And I just kept running and I kept running and I kept running. And then I came to and I was like, oh crap. I ran like a mile past where I intended to run to, which means now I got to run a mile back to my original spot and then head home so this is going to be a five mile run instead of a three mile run and i had to do some things in my psyche to continue to keep going because what happens is if you set a mental expectation if you say i'm going to do this and this is all that i'm going to do especially in the workout realm you're like i'm just going to go to the gym for 30 minutes and you the whole time you're going to the gym you're like i'm going to go 30 minutes 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 i got this lunch thing i got to go to or i want to go back home and play video games or i want to go watch my show whatever it is you have this mental capacity this mental uh spot in your mind where you say okay i'm gonna go three miles and then i'm done or i'm gonna go 30 minutes and i'm done and then what happens is if something happens along the way, which now you have to go five miles or you have to go an hour or you have to go two hours. You now have to get through this like mental block that you've created because you built it in your mind that said, I'm only going to do this. And then you got put in a position where you actually had to do this and it's harder to do because it's it's a it's a battle in the mind you convince yourself to go a certain distance uh, and you were happy with that and you were content with that and you were hoping that that would be it and then you were done um so seven's life lesson of the day man is that uh for one if you create mental blocks in your mind you got to be careful because they could shut you down very easily they could prevent you from going further because you've created mental blocks and then the other part of this is if you did create a mental block uh, take it as a challenge in a, in a way to persevere, a way to adapt. And that's exactly where we're at right now in society. No one expected the coronavirus. No one expected everyone to have to be in home this long. Uh, no one expected to lose all their jobs. Uh, but it creates uh, something in us to well, now we're in, we need to adapt or we need to adjust. We need to change. We need to reroute, reroute, you know, and uh, we don't like to reroute because that requires change. That requires getting past a mental wall. Uh, but I tell you that you're going to be stronger in the long run. You're going to be much, much stronger in the long run if you're able to break down mental walls in your mind. So uh, seven's life lesson of the day. How does that translate to the seventh pitch? Oh my gosh, how does it not? I mean, these guys go 14 minutes sprinting the whole entire time. And the things that you have to go through in your mind to know that, okay, that try was going to win the game. But now they scored right again right away and now you guys have to score another try or you made that final tackle and you thought that that was it or the ref blew the whistle you thought that that was the last play and now it's not the last play like you have to go through so many mental wars in your mind but if you could win that battle if you could master the war in your mind that translates to all aspects to life in your workforce in your family in your relationships you start to develop a way to persevere in the in the in the, your mental capacity so seven's life lesson of the day uh Hope you guys have a blessed day. No matter what's happening to your life right now, there is a way to reroute. There is a way to adapt. There is a way to adjust. Okay? So think about those things. Think about how you can adjust. Think about how you can uh, adapt or change. And it doesn't have to be what everybody else is doing. You know, this is where people actually come up with big, big business ideas uh, and become massive members of influence because something happened in time and they were able to get through it in some type of way that others weren't and uh it it shot them up so uh seven's life lesson of the day um keep staying strong guys love you guys god bless always here if you ever want to send a message uh we're in it together so all right cheers